Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We'll have an in-depth review of On My OG The Card Game. But before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hey guys, welcome back for a new game that I'll be featuring in the channel. So we, what we have here is On My OG The Card Game. Um, this actually brought back memories for me. Uh, memories way back when I was younger and uh, I played some of some of the you know the the real card games before like magic the gathering so without further ado um for this game i actually have played tested this for around a week already um it really piqued my interest number one because of the the what do you call this the artwork in the cards the animations as well the story as well is very good but we'll start here in the bottom because th there are three parts to this game. So you'll have here um, the first level, which you have your... Let's visit first your Shoten guy. Your Shoten guy is more or less an area where you generate revenue um, passively by setting up... Um, eventually, you'll be setting up this one. A small kiosk initially then you'll have to grow it you'll have to buy items or you have to invest in in the store like for example your shelves the design and it would increase the attraction and you know um, attract more more customers to your to your store so you buy it uh, you buy and arrange items here then arrange them then there is a particular level that um that uh when once you once you for example um level up your shotting guy like for example here so i'm at level two so you can actually add additional buildings um to gain you know for you to gain more uh what do you call this currency so right now i have one small building which is the kiosk and i have one big building here so also just to just to share with you guys there are a couple of um let's say um recipes for you for you that you can follow if you want to build a kiosk like i did if you want to build a shukuba you can actually you know have all of this um made so let's go back to the kiosk so for the kiosk that i built which you saw earlier i'm more i more or less um have purchased the shelves that would that would eventually uh what they call this um sell these items so these items you can sell in your shop so again the shukuba uh, sure the the the, the shoten guy is um a place where you can um earn currency for the game and actually invest them as well uh these currency this one is for you to you know build um build your buildings uh buy furniture so this is for your shoten guy so this is you earn you earn um currency here passively so let's go back to your shinkero so your shoten guy is here um I, I i forgot to mention that in your shoten guy earlier there, there were two guys there that you can you can play against so that you could actually earn rewards as well so the we, we go back here we start first with the jade shop so for your jade shop um you can purchase items here um there are two currencies up up here so for your jade this is actually for players who who spend money um to the game and acquire packs but there's actually a, a a way where you don't have to spend um, your jade so you use your gold i think this is gold coins why can't i click this so th those are gold coins and you can actually purchase items here using using what they call this using gold coins so there are selected items that that you can purchase but for packs later i'll show you that you can purchase gold uh, uh, you can purchase packs through gold and through um your jade currency so 
And for those who, who actually would, would use Jade, there is a top-up reward as well. So again, for those who, who want to use um, Jade Cursey, there is a top-up reward as well. And you also have an alternative, uh, alternative art shop, which you can change the art of your cards as well, the back part. Okay, let's move on to... From your Jade shop, we'll go to... The, the Hayu, Hiyu Kubun Scrollery. So for this one, this is where you get your packs. So again, um, I'd like to emphasize that you can purchase packs here. Um, this is actually the, the main recruitment part of the game. You purchase packs because you have to get better cards. So again, this is actually a free-to-play game in which you can get your packs from gold so this is very good for those who who don't want to spend for the game just had to grind out the game and uh, gain uh, gold uh, coins so that you can purchase so save your gold try to try to also make sure that that um, you buy the correct um, what do you call this the correct uh, series in terms of packs depending on what uh, what uh, what uh, what you call this what heroes or characters you have already in this game okay so here i have actually a pack so we'll try to draw one so that you could have a feel of um what what to expect when you buy packs so even when opening packs that you got for free you open you you, you still open it here so click on circle then you wait then appears all the packs. So if there's a SR, usually they, they 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 won't turn back immediately. So for SR and SSR, you have to click on them for them to face forward. So accept. So that is it uh, when getting packs from the scrollery. Okay, Hukobun scrollery. <laughs> it's too hard to pronounce. Sorry. Um, also in the grocery, um, the grocery is actually a, a place wherein you buy items for your quest. So this is where you buy, this is where your story items are for your, uh, here for your quest. Then you have here your consumables, you have your ink jade. Ink jade is actually being used in, in coloring the cards. So there's a alternate color when you use ink jade. I'll, I'll show you that later. So, talisman. I'll also the the talisman is actually uh, what they call this is actually uh, good in buying copies of your cards. So I'll show you that later as well. So I'll try to buy one. So we're done with the first level. So, but before we go, I'd like to um, explore the icons that are on the top and on the side here. So we go first here. So. This one is more on the events that will be showing or will be having. This is actually a preview of the incoming uh, event um, uh, to the game. Then you have here, you also ha get your gifts here, your sign-in rewards for seven days. Then they have additional um, updates as well here, alternate art and uh, seal deck so gifts events are here so don't forget to check this out and also don't forget to claim your items here okay so the next would be your tour pass season so they have a tour pass season for free to play and also for those who 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 pay for the game um rewards are actually decent enough and um the ones that you would value here if you're going to buy the tour pass season is the gold especially and your uh this one the item item voucher you used to redeem ink jade in the grocery okay but i would value the gold here more because this is where you you can buy individual cards from the packs okay so let's go next so here for your mail for freebies for maintenance updates then you have here to add friends um there's i i haven't seen any you know benefit yet to adding friends so 
uh let i'll feature that in in a future video then the last one the last two would be your settings system settings and you have here this is important guys um um your the icon or or your account um level or status includes a lot of things your profile in which you can actually look at shikigami um, these are your heroes um, for your decks. So I'll discuss more on that later. And also here, you will have your alternate art gallery. But um, aside from this one, so they have really good art that they feature as alternate art for some of their cards. This is actually the front of the card, so not the back of the card. So these are alternate art of existing cards. Um, you have actually to check this one. The collection this one is the back of the card this art so card souvenir card back season event exclusive so these are um options where you can change the back of your cards this one is your avatar so currently i'm using this girl's avatar don't want to purchase this because this um this doesn't make sense if i purchase it then here is your event broadcast or your animation. So when you level up, rebirth, the seal. So there are different types of animations that you can actually buy and um, and and what do you call this? And uh, change. So including the background, you can change. So you can. There, there's a lot of things that you can customize with the game. And here, always check this one for your items because sometimes you have things that you can consume here, especially this one, the beginner pack. So see, I have a beginner pack that I forgot. Okay, so I forgot to claim level 19. So always check on the consumables and also your items here as well. So achievements are also here. So there are actually rewards and the game will, will actually prompt you if you have um, rewards for the game. So let's go to the second level. The second level is all about um, gameplay, PvP, um, deck battles. I'll move first to the first level because there are only two parts in the first level. You have here your story missions. Your story missions actually um, are actually good because of the rewards. And also, once you reach um, this one, I think uh, two, three, and four, you'll have to you'll have to purchase items for the story. Again, um, I'll if you can remember, um, I told you that some items are available in the grocery. So some of some of the levels here would require you to purchase some items for you to start playing um the story missions so that's it for the story missions um very good story actually uh very good content and the kaidan is actually a game mode that um, um the further the further you actually go and play matches the 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 bigger the the bigger the rewards that you'll be getting but you'll have to spend currency for this one so it's a myth scroll if you don't want to spend or it's 10,000 gold so that is why i haven't played this much because i'm trying to save up my gold for cards as well but i'll actually go into an in-depth uh, guide for each game mode um after i put out this video so let's go to the middle part wherein most of the action takes place. So you have here your... Let's go first to the games that you can actually play. So here for your play matches or your player match, this is actually um, a area wherein you can test out your decks without, um, with, without um, harming your rankings or your rank matches, but you still earn rewards here. So that is the good thing. Just play this, you tinker with your deck, then you try to uh, rank as high as possible in your rank matches. So right now for the rank match, I'm at tier four, rank four. So I've been climbing up the ranking so far, but it's it, it would usually depend on um, how, you know, how close your deck is in terms of 
matching with other players because um, some of the players are pretty much um, advanced in terms of deck composition and the cards available to them. So try to tinker with a couple of decks, mix and match in order to rank as high as possible here in your rank matches or yeah, so rank match. So you also have your Yakubun Chess. Yakubun Chess is actually a game mode as well that is um, kind of unique. Um, I'll go more in in-depth um, guide on um, Yakubun Chess, uh, but it's a bit, it's a bit what you call this. It's a bit complex. Um, I can't uh, stay long in this video because this will take long definitely. So I'll, I'll have a separate video for Akubun Chess. Then the other PvP mode is actually one of my favorites, the Seal Deck. So from time to time, I try to play here, especially if I have currency and now it's free. So I uh, Seal Deck is actually a combination as well of decks that, that uh, you pulled or the cards that you pulled or the Shikagami that you pulled and try to mix and match them and try to combine them as much as possible to win, to win matches. So again, I'll have an in-depth guide for seal deck as well. So those are mostly your PvP um, PvP matches um, and your event and and mostly your matches that you're going to play. So on your left side, you have your decks. Okay. So this is where um, this is where um, what do you call this? This is where deck construction comes into play. So if you'll see here, I'll use this deck. This deck I've been I've been tinkering, trying to feature in this game. This is this is a more simpler deck than what I have um, for the first one. Um, so let's say for example, this is your deck. You you pull this, then um, you actually might want to get more cards or copies. So if you you don't have to really pull packs, so you just have to click on the card, then you can craft. Uh, what do you call this? You can craft um, cards even if you don't, ha if you even if you haven't pulled them from what do you call this from the packs. So you will only need talisman for this one. So talismans are very valuable. You can actually get talisman from the game, but your main source would also be is to disenchant um, some cards that you have, so extra cards that you have. So if you can see here, you have your ink jade. The purpose of your ink jade is actually to ink splash. So I'll show you a ink splashed card. So this, so this is a sample of Vokas ink ink splashed card. So it has more of a black border, a darker mode, so to say. Um, so let's say for example if i want to if i want to have um if i want to have uh, what they call called talismans you have to batch disenchant the batch disenchant is any type of card that exceeds two copies let's say if you have three copies the third one would be disenchanted for your talismans so that you, so that you could gain currency for the game um you will only need at most two copies of each card so that's very good so i'll have to disenchant then i'll gain talisman so that i can probably use it in the future to acquire cards so though that's actually a good mechanic for deck building um at first i was actually very i didn't know the disenchant system um i i, I thought it would be harder to acquire cards for your decks but apparently it's not so you have two options. You buy um, you buy you buy packs through gold, and you disenchant extra cards so that you can buy them piece by piece. So again, uh, you have here ink to have it colored, craft to buy one card, and disenchant if you have extra. Okay, so you have a maximum of four chicken chicken um, that you can use for your decks. So. Um, you can actually buy set decks already in in the Jade Shop. So there are certain set decks there. If you have, if you, if if you want to spend in the game, you can buy set decks there. But actually, I'll be featuring um, some decks that I have made and have been 
successful in this game for you to try out in, in future videos okay so this is deck construction so you go back here so again um there is actually four chicken gummy then per chicken gummy you have a maximum of eight cards to use so one two three four five six seven eight and two copies per card so that that is how you build your team so this is actually an aggro team the other deck that i have the first one is f control which is field control actually this is this is one of the decks that i'm so happy with um uh, uh control uh what they call this um this is field control and this is also control of chicken gummies of your opponents and dealing um it's actually controlling gameplay oh, so card draw you have here um direct damage you have here uh what else um elimination of, of chicken gummy so board control is the theme of this deck so move on to the other one <coughs> So we'll also feature here <coughs> your chicken gummy. So if you want to see what each uh, chicken gummy can do and how many cards do you have. So for example, for Akuro, um, you have here the cards that she can use and these cards you don't have yet. So you can actually check out how you're going to play this hero because of these cards. So there are a lot of chicken gummy that you can choose from. So again, my mascot is Adon. Adon, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but she's very good. She gives you card advantage and also orb advantage. Orb, I will discuss it later in a sample um, play or a sample game. But before that, our last part that I'll be discussing is the missions. So for your missions, you have here your quests for today special quests and also your beginner trial okay take note please try to finish your beginner trial because the game is actually kind of complex in terms of abilities you have here your basics combat defeats shields tutorial actually basically the guide is your tutorial so please uh, finish all of them because um, as a beginner, you won't know everything. So, but as you play along, you can actually know what the skills are and how to use them. So, fragile form, evolve, piercing, projectile. So, everything is here. So, please, and also for each tutorial, you get rewards the first time you 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 try to um, take a look at them. And there are matches, short matches for each tu tutorial and how to use the card. So. Uh, try to please uh, finish the guide before you play the game so again these are your missions the missions actually earn you currency as i've told you and earn you items as well so we'll go into a a a short match hopefully it's a short match so going to have a player match just to give you a feel of the game so let's go with this fast uh, deck that i have so normally um pairing for the matches would take um the the longest that i've waited was around a minute to look for a same level opponent so the system actually matches you towards um a similar level deck so here we go so we are actually on the bottom part the opponent is on the top part so first things first who goes first so we go second normally for fast uh, decks you would go first but for control decks you would go second so at first you're given a chance to 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 check out your hand and you could actually replace three cards on your hand so we'll replace this one we're here to to have uh, as much damage and as quick as possible so the gameplay is starting with your opponent's turn so the turn you have actually two orbs so two orbs equals an action sorry sorry one orb equals an action so two orbs equals two actions so those 
those are what you can actually do only in 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 your in your what they call in your turn so all your shikigami are required to be level up each time or each turn that you have so you already have one to start then you you for example choose another one to to level up then once it's your turn actually you can choose from the cards that you have that can cast uh, that that the Shikangami can cast. So you only have two that can cast cards. So you only select from these two. So I'll use this one so that he can cast this. Give plus one plus one. And for you to attack, you also need to spend an orb. So the next turn is to do an attack. So there you go, down 26, then you end your turn. So it's actually pretty simple, but the battle sequences are sometimes very difficult. You can actually attack twice, uh, but you have to have a combat card uh, after your regular attack. So there are spell cards, there are field cards, there are <coughs> form cards. So next to level up, um, each chicken gummy is actually uh, actually has a max of uh, three levels. So here I don't have a purple um, purple yin or yang. I'm not sure what is, what, is it, what is it called. So I'm going with red. So so that I could cast her skills. You can actually use um, the others. For this one so i'm going to have a spell so I, I can use it you can only use one so for example double strike so damage two damage okay so that is basically the simplest way on how to play the game if you don't have any other moves you actually would have to either i have one more or i, I have actually uh two orbs because if you've seen that card it's a fast card with which doesn't use any orbs you can actually use one, use one fast card per turn so if you have nothing to do and if you don't want to attack you can actually end but if you want to attack you can still attack deal damage then once the shikangami dies he resurrects after three turns but if you want to finish this off again i attacked once but you can attack again Oh, sorry. I ran out of, of, of what they call. I ran out of time because I was, I was so busy doing commentary. So let's wait for our turn again. Anyway, um, the gameplay is actually very, very interesting. Very unique concept wherein you only have Shikengami to attack, to cast spells, and it's usually a one-on-one -on -one battle at the center. So that is a, a new gameplay for me as well. Um, you can actually cast here um, two spells, which are two, 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 two symbols already. So you can cast this one as a spell. Then you can cast another spell using one orb to kill this one, to kill this chicken gummy. There you go. So, so far, I cannot really concentrate on this game. Um, so, this actually is um, very interesting. You can actually defeat your enemies by either either um, turning his 30 max life into zero or if the opponent's decks, uh, the, the number of cards in his deck reaches zero and he, can, he cannot draw a, what they call this, a single card. Um, so you, there are actually decks that force your opponents to take <laughs> cards from his library. So you also have to explore that. So again, this is a fast card, gains three attack. So I'll play it. I, as you can see, I haven't spent any orb. Then, so I'll cast this one, then I'll also attack. So very simple game. I'll feature actually a lot of decks uh, that you can use um, 
down the line um i have two decks already that, that you can use and i'll try to feature them i'll have an in-depth guide on the other the other um game plays a solo video on that but i think this game is worth your time this actually has piqued my interest and has revived my love for card games so this tcg is actually a must play i would really you know encourage you to try out this game um for those who who are deck builders there who used to play magic the gathering and interested to explore this type of game please do please hit me up in the comments below whether you'd like to play this game or not or you would um, rather try to try it first then see what happens but i'll continue to feature this game because i love this game aside, aside from exos heroes so again comment below what you think about this game and if you need help um, in your deck construction please comment down below so this is the warden i hope you play this game stay safe and i'm out